welcome back to the fire and water cooking channel I'm Darren and today I got something a little different I'm gonna do um, back when I first started this channel you know I had uh, thought about um, doing some reviews and you know I uh, did a review on the Gourmet unit that I used the most the GSV 140 and um, I really like that unit I've had it like I said uh, since Christmas time and about six months now and I've really put that thing to work and I've had no issues with it whatsoever so I did a good review on it, and um, I went ahead and sent that to Gourmia to see what they thought of it, and they actually liked the fact, they liked the concept of my channel, and they liked my review, they liked the Facebook uh, things I'm doing on Facebook and Instagram, so they went ahead and sent me something else to review for them, which I thought was pretty cool, so, and what they sent me was this thing here, which is a 11-in-1 multi-cooker it is a pro plus sous vide it is a kind of like a supreme sous vide it is a uh, multi-cooker but it's it sous vide but from one of the things i can see with this thing it says you can actually sear in it as well so you can actually do your sous vide in it take the water out and then sear in it but this is the gourmet and let me get the model number here it is the gmc 680 so they have a couple different ones, different sizes of this, but they sent me the bigger one. This is a six and a half quart cooker. And I'm going to do an unboxing because I haven't opened this up yet to see what it does. And I was kind of surprised. I thought they would send me another sous vide pod or something similar. Because um, I know they got a couple new ones coming out. But they sent me this. And I thought it was pretty cool because I have never thought of using a... Uh, sous vide bath like this where it was just uh, all in one unit but I will go ahead and do a open this up and see what comes with it and you guys can follow along with me so it'll be the first time we see it well one of the things I know I expected it to come with was this little recipe book which comes with similar the you know, the, the uh, sous vide units themselves and it's got a few good recipes in there like I said I don't really use the recipes in these books. I mean, I'm sure they're good. I'm sure if you get one, you could probably use some of them. But the thing I really use the most, and I wear it out, is this temp chart in the back. Time and temp for um, all the different meats and proteins and vegetables and everything uh, for sous vide. And I said, if you get one of these, I just, I just for this alone, it's it's well worth it. Um, let's see what else. And they got the operating manual here, the model GMC 680, 11-in-1 multi-cooker. It's got a few pages of instructions on how to set the timer and how to use it to make yogurt, stew, all the different modes, maintenance, warranty items, all that. Um, let's take a look. Okay, first thing you get is your lid, which is pretty decent it's kind of screwed in there heavy-duty plastic with uh, glass it's got the little hole in it to let the steam out so that looks pretty cool it's packed up pretty good and it came from they shipped it directly I guess from Amazon and it came in two other boxes it was like a Russian nesting doll I had to pull it out of <laughs> two different other boxes so they actually package up their stuff pretty good um, let's get this bad boy out of here. Now, like I said, I'm kind of excited about this because I've never really thought of buying one myself that was uh, just a single all-encompassing unit. But I definitely am going to do some future cooks in this thing because it does it. It's kind of like a crock pot and a sous vide unit all built in together. You can see this is kind of a um, non-stick surface in here. So it's like a Teflon. This is kind of a cast aluminum or steel pan here. But it's, it's stainless or uh, non-stick surface on the bottom. And that goes right in here. I guess it's kind of like the crock pot. So this would be your heating element on the bottom here. Let's get this bag off so we can get a good look at it with the camera. So I'm going to move 
this a little closer to the camera so you guys can see it. So you take a look at that. I mean, it's pretty cool looking. I mean, it's got uh, start, stop menu, all the different uh, LCD screen there, time temp, plus, minus. Um, I don't know if this part comes off. This comes out. I don't think this part comes off. So, no. But it's got a little, you can see that in the bottom. I guess this is kind of like a safety device that will, if this is lifted up, it will shut this heater off, this heating element off. So if the pan comes out, it will automatically shut this off. So that's pretty cool. All right. So that looks like it. I'm not going to uh, go into much more of this until we do some cooks with it, but it comes with a little, uh, couple little racks here. I guess you can set, you know, a roast or something on that and pull it up, take it out. It keeps it off the bottom, sitting in juices, and it's got a little steak rack here you can use. Putting some steaks in there. And that's pretty much all it comes with it. But I'm going to be doing some future cooks with this for sure. But I'm kind of impressed that they thought well enough of my review on their GS V140 that they went ahead and sent me something like this. So... I will make sure I put it to good use, and you guys will be here with me watching. And like I said, one of the cool things about this one I was reading on this unit, like I said, uh, the unit is the uh, GMC 680. If you want to look it up on Amazon or on the Gourmet website and find out all about it. But this uh, particular one, you can actually, since this is a uh, non-stick surface in this pan it, it heats up pretty hot to six seven hundred or five six hundred degrees so supposedly you can dump the water out of this put the pan back in put a little oil in and sear in the same unit so which i think that's pretty cool now this isn't going to be something you're going to throw a rack of ribs in or a brisket or you know big pieces of meat this is just going to be something for a couple of steaks chicken breast uh, maybe some tenderloins you know stuff like that but um, I definitely will do some kicks with this to see how it works. And thanks for joining me. Um, kind of excited about this. Please go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. And we're on Twitter as well now. Um, but thanks for joining me. And we look forward to doing some more videos for you guys. Thanks again.